Okay, Medieval Cop Death Wish Part 2. Oh, it is going to have this intro every time now. Obviously gonna go hard. Alright, you son of a bitch. What were the instructions given to help me defeat Darius Eel? I keep telling you, son of a woman, that I forgot! Are you feeling okay, Greg? Why are you talking to yourself? You shut up and continue working on that sandcastle of yours. Okay. Uh, this is a huge mess. What the hell is going on? Why are our top people at the beach partying like it's their birthday? Maybe it's a government holiday. I can tell it is. What was that? Stop howling. That's the town bell. It rings two times a day. One at dawn, and one when evening starts. Uh, why are your friends staring blankly into nothing? First of all, they're co-workers, not friends. Secondly... It's time. What? The bell has rung. It's time to go home. This is... creepy. What the... Where are you going? Uh, guys, that's not the way home. Any way you go is home, as long as your home is in heaven. Okay, this is officially messed up. Come on, guys, let's get down the normal way and... <coughs> ah, she hit me. I apologize, but don't intrude me on my way home. Are you okay? Ugh. It's not Tira. She would never apologize for punching me. This is obviously mind control. Okay, think. I'm gonna stop this. Well, damn it, slow down. Ah, now I remember. Mr. Dreg, use your dimensional technique. What? The power the devil loaned you is to break the mind control of Thrasio. But from where? Power is not intended to be used by a mortal. You may experience some problems. Seriously? Does he want to help me or not? Screw it. I've been through worse. Better try. Dimensional debate. Ragnarok. Gah. Mr. Craig, get a hold of yourself. Uh... You won't ever leave me alone, right? This is... It's okay to cry, Greg. It's okay to sometimes give up. I can't. I have too much to lose. You see, that's the thing. You've already lost everything that you once held dear. Ark. Huh? What, what happened? You did it! Welcome back to the Spirit Realm! What? But how? Where's Ark? Eh, who? Never mind. So what do I do now? The Spirit Realm can be overwhelming to those who are not prepared. Drazio forcefully drags them here to confuse them. The weakened self falls prey to the overwhelming mind force of Drazio and submits to it. Okay, so how do I get them out of it? Drazio has locked them in their dreams, regrets, or wishes, depending on the person in question. You'll need to make them realize it's not real and break them out of it. Fine. I really hope this works. By the way, you're on your own in there. I can't enter someone's mind like that. I really didn't count on your help anyway. Seriously? What the hell? I switched it on the other side of this platform with no way to reach them. Woo! I am a ghost doll! Where are you? In the real world, I have securely transported you, all of you to the bottom of the cliff till you come back. By the way, you can move down from the mind in the spirit world, so why don't you give it a try? You know what? I'm not even going to question the weird things going on around anymore. It's just tiring me out. Alright then. Oh, well, that's simple. If 
I can't see the princess's concert, I might as well die. Pick this up and I'll do it myself if I have to. going to be late. That's Holly. Finally found him. Can you believe this line? I hope I don't miss the concert. Miss the what now? Are you joking? Princess Sarah's concert, you idiot. Looks like it's too late for Holly. His brain has already turned to mush. I should train him to death with mercy. Mr. Greg, did you find the glasses guy? He's twitching in the real world. Yeah, but he's talking nonsense about going to a concert. But that must be his wish, remember? I said that Thrazeal traps people in their innermost dreams, wishes, and regrets. So how, should I get him? so how should I get him out of there? Fulfill his wish. Remove the obstacles that Thrazeal put, put to stop him from completing it. I see. I could start by reducing the waiting line. Try to stop the person who's in front of Polly first. Fine. Hey, can my co-worker have cuts? He really wants to see the show. And I want ice cream, too. If you're good. You ask him for cuts? I'll give you such a cut that you'll look like a cheese. Oh yeah? Well. What'd you say, Pong? <clears throat> ah, almost shake me. That's a Sarah's fans are hardcore. Mr. Dragon, you can't use your usual logic here. Remember, this is your friend's mind. You should do what he thinks is right. So I need to think and do what Polly thinks is right? This will be a pain. Cuts. Oh yeah, well, I apologize for the inconvenience, but perhaps you can allow my kind associate here your space in line for the concert. Aw oh, man, how can I refuse when you ask so kindly? Fine, have it your way. Well, that was convenient. Is there any non-violent way you can let my colleague pass you? What? Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting here? I don't know, ten minutes? Waiting for 10, 11 days. You've been waiting for 11 days? Don't you have a life? Yeah, you're right. What am I doing? I'm going back to law college. Wait, you're going to be a lawyer? In that case, I think you're better off here. God damn it. Alright, the line is gone. What the? How did this happen? Which way is the concert? Oh, hello. Can you tell me where- <laughs> Ah! Hmm. Wow. This is gonna take a while. Dang it. You. This way. I'm starting to wonder if saving him is really worth it. This is. And I will always haunt you. I will always haunt you. What is that thing? Get off the stage! If you are happy and you know it, kill yourself. The lyrics are terrible as it's singing, not the enough appearance. I said get off, damn you! The princess can't get on stage until the opening act closes. That's what's going on. 
We will, we will. Smack you. That's it. I'm kicking its ass. Greg, hold my beer. Nothing safe ever happens after that sentence. Hey, big guy, your music is terrible. Go back to hell. Oh my god, he killed Polly. You bastards! Ghost dog, what should I do? You'll need to hurry. It seems to be a failsafe. In case they didn't kill themselves, they will have a heart attack. This is bad. I should get him out before he's digested. Take your time, sir. Come on. I'm just bring half the clicks. Oh, there it goes. That was easy. Somebody once told me. <laughs> Ugh. You. You okay? Ugh. Greg? Good to know your brain is still there. You're alive. Wait, am I supposed to say that to you? They- he- he said you died. What? <laughs> what do you mean he's dead? What the hell, old man? Explain yourself. I am really sorry for your loss. Screw you sorry. How the hell did that woman escape and kill Greg? It doesn't make any sense. I would like a proper explanation too, Mr. Er. I am Verazel U4 of Sion. I am a council member of the Emperor and was specially assigned for a secret mission. During the NVIDIA games, Eva kidnapped our dear Princess Bernard and was in hiding. We couldn't find any of them. We got intel suggesting she might be hiding in Radia, but by the time we got here, your people already caught her. Yes, I was handled by our esteemed Officers, Greg and Tira. Yes, you weren't aware of her kidnapping the prince, except Mr. Morse, who went himself to save the prince. Isn't that right, Prince Bernard? I... I... Yes, Greg came to save me. All I asked you to do was stay put and none of this would have happened. She, she somehow escaped from prison, and she managed to reach the secret lair where she kept me. She, she overpowered us too fast. So have fun bleeding to death. Yeah. She knew she couldn't hide here any longer, so she decided to leave me to die. But not before she took care of the guy who had been stopping her from day one. You lousy at last words. <laughs> Goodbye, Dreg. Okay, so she's playing the man. That explains the uh, last time. Th that's... This must be painful for you to hear. Greg. Are you done? Eh? What? I said, are you done with your explanation? If so, I want to leave to look for him. Polly? I know that cockroach isn't the type to just roll over and die. But I saw him get hacked to bits. I won't believe it until I see it myself. Besides, your story doesn't make much sense. How did Greg find you in the first place? How did you escape? And more importantly, why did she leave you alive? The thanks. He's right. You can't give up hope yet. Very right, well. It's just stop an investigation. Sorry. No. This would have been much easier if you people had just accepted the story. W what happened? They're not moving at all. God has passed judgment. Eh? God will not decide their fate. What are you two talking about? You three have been working so hard that I think you guys deserve a vacation. Vacation? Why don't you three take the rest of the day off and go to the beach? Be beach? Yes, play in the water, enjoy yourself, and when the sun sets down, drown yourselves. Yes, God. <laughs> now then, have fun. Fun? How did you do that? Don't worry about it. You should consider yourself lucky that I decided to spare you. 
But you ordered them to die. How is this possible? Would you like to try it yourself? No. And why don't you stop asking stupid questions and find that girl who still has Eva's diary? Yes, sir. And I should tie up the loose ends. So that's what happened to you guys. Ugh. I still don't feel very well. What the? Polly? And with that, you've successfully broken through Drazil's mind control. So Polly's okay? Yes, and you should hurry up to the other two. If his failsafe was activated, they are still in danger. Fine. This is becoming more of a chore than a mission. Okay, double click on the slot, then save. It's surprisingly dark in here. Tira. So I'm inside her head now. I'm pretty sure I'm the last person she wants meddling in her brain, but it's not like I have a choice. Greg. Yeah, I'm here. Don't worry. I'll get you out. Yeah. Ark. I... I'm so sorry, Ark. A song of life will always come, but the silence of death is already waiting for her. And the reason you are gone. There's always life and death. Not even time can break that cycle. And the reason you do not breathe. And death will always claim life. Such is the fate of the horseman. Goodbye, Ark. And may the universe never forgive me for the sins I have committed. Mr. Can you hear your name? Ah, my head. You say strong. The spirit realm is starting to have its effects on you. Is that the reason my mind is swimming in my past memories? The realm doesn't like mortals, and it will try to destroy you your worst nightmares. You'll need to work fast before the realm claims your mind forever. I'm okay. There's still two people that need saving. I can handle it. Please come back if things are too extreme. Even the devil won't be able to bring you back if the realm gets you. That's why mortals can't use this power, huh? If it's... I can speed things up. Nope, not that way. Have to go forward. What's with this room? It looks like the library near the station. So it finally happened. Yes, it seems there was nothing we could have done to stop it. What's going on? Why is... Somebody brutally murdered Dreg Morris. What the freaking hell? I don't want to say he had it coming, but he brought this upon himself. Is this what she wants? Is this her dream? Does she really hate me that much? No, I don't think so. Otherwise, she would have woken up. Don't worry, Greg. As much as an ass you were, I will not let this crime go unpunished. I think her dream is to solve a good murder mystery. So I'm just the icing on the cake? Hmm. It looks like the criminal first beat him up, then stomped on him, and finally choked him to death. To be honest, I know this will probably happen to me someday. This is clearly a case of premeditated murder. No, it's not. It's probably done in a fit of rage. How tragic! My only uncle is finally dead. My tears can't stop rolling. Why are you smiling? He had a long life ahead of him. Not a good one, but still a long life nonetheless. You're not even trying to sugarcoat it. What a huge tragedy. It seems everyone I know is here. What about my job? That's what you're worried about? Boogie boogie. Yes, Mr. Chef. It is indeed emotionally draining. Who the hell is that guy? Isn't he the most suspicious person? Doesn't even look like he's from this era. One of you is the criminal, and I'm going to get you. You were all present in this library when the murder happened. So why don't you give up and surrender yourself? Oh, for crying out. Hey, investigate the place and talk to the suspects. Have you forgotten even the basics? You know what? Scratch that. I'll need to investigate the place and talk to you lot. So nobody will leave till I'm done. Well, the, do you understand me? It seems you can affect her thinking by whispering thoughts to her. You can use this to solve the mystery. I see. Rachel would have put roadblocks in her path to stop her from solving this. So I'm like her assistant. Exactly. <sighs> Never thought I'd solve my own murder. Oops.
Death Loop. Oh, this thing is covered in blood. It's the murder weapon. It's a rusty rod covered in blood. The killer must have thrown it here after killing Drag. I think I could see a piece of my brain lost on it. That doesn't bode well. It's a rusty rod that used to beat me up and then thrown away. Alright, what's this? Something smells. Probably that pile of charred remains. It's hard to tell what it was. It's completely burned. It's a miracle the whole place wasn't burned down. I'll carry some in addition and ask around to see if anyone can identify it. Uh? No rust or anything. Probably ditched differently. Alright, nothing over here. Oops. Hmm, this empty bookshelf is bugging me a lot. All the other shelves have books in them, and this is the only shelf with no books. That was a very observant work, if I'm underestimating her skills. Maybe Drag ate the books in the library and killed him. Nope, never mind. Oop. No. What's this? Blood? What is it doing all the way up here? Not to mention the cracked floor. What happened here? It's fresh. Does this really mean that it belongs to Greg? It doesn't make any sense. Who's attacked in the hallway? Maybe it belongs to the killer. I think I injured him a little. But that doesn't explain the crack on the floor. Wait, wait, wait. This blood spatter is unnatural unless someone is using Greg's blood for a cursed ritual. No need for a ritual. My blood is already cursed enough. The remains were found far away from this spot. It doesn't make sense as to why the killer would jump from one section to another. This shelf has barely any books. I doubt someone stored all the books from that shelf here. The lot was found far away from this spot. It doesn't make any sense as to why the killer would jump from one section to another. There's a plug on the books and the floor is cracked. Nothing else stands out. Wait a minute. There's a cookbook section. Who here would need that? Okay then. Come on. There we go. Alright, dead Greg. Let's check out what happened to you. Feels really weird examining my own dead body. It's like you're examining your own test. Hmm, now that I look closely, the way he was beat up indicates it wasn't done by hand, but with a weapon. I was beaten, stomped, and then choked to death. All three requires a person to have a considerable amount of strength. He doesn't look like he fought back. Does this mean he was incapacitated first? There's blood coming out from behind the head. I mean someone attacked me from behind first, and then beat and stomped and choked me. Well, considering the destructive life he was living, Dreg would have died sooner or later. Rest in hell, fellow officer. Why are you assuming I will go to hell? Well, I did go, but still. Considering the destructive... Yeah, I love that. And then, dead body on blood spatter. The body is far too far away to be Dreg's blood. One can argue that he was dragged there, but someone was nose to then. Nothing here but an empty shelf. I wonder if someone knew that someone kept books here. I already have checked out body for this. I should look around to find another clue to match. If there was drag blood, there should have been a trail leading here, but there isn't. Nothing that was used to kill Dread. Nothing new here except the parts I already know. No way Dread was carrying that many books and was not noticeable. No sign of anything burning around here. This was a waste of time. Wait a minute, I know the smell. It smells like Vilroy's mustache oil. I knew it. He killed me. I don't know why, but I get the feeling this is Vilroy's mustache oil. That's weird. I don't remember ever smelling him before. I 
the, the remains are of a book. The texture and feel don't match paper or cardboard. No rust or anything. Probably goes differently. No sign of any blood near it, so it's probably not related. Greg's body didn't have any burnt marks on him, so I don't think it's related to his dead body. Hey, Chef, how's it hanging? Bugatti, Bugatti. Chef's cool. He may, be, he may look terrifying, but he's a gentle soul who practices sorcery as a hobby. What's wrong? You look a little dull. Huh? Oh, you're feeling anemic? That explains why it's wobbling so much. Hey, Chef! Nope, oh, nope. Stay down. I don't think I can learn anything new from her about this issue. Yep. And... Chef, can you tell us anything about Drake's death? Sugagi Mugagi. Eh, he doesn't know anything either. To be honest, it surprises me that we can even understand what he says. Chef, there's a blood on the bookshelf in the cookbook section below of you. Gigi? Mariki, Larisi, Gaga, Gaga. Eh? You got a paper cut from a book and the blood spattered on the shelf? Gigi. That explains the crack on the floor. He must have passed out there, which also explains his anemic condition. That's a lot of blood. How high is your blood pressure? Gigi, Gigi. His girlfriend is worried too? Chef has a girlfriend? Doesn't that make me less desirable than him? Alright then. What's up, Bill? How's the old mustache freak? Not the time, Tira. He's probably depressed over his brother-in-law's death. I've started using a new kind of oil for my mustache. I'm glad people are noticing. Does no one care I'm dead? What brought you here today? Actually, I can with Greg to the library to find books. Don't misunderstand. We came here for different purposes, but since our destination was the same, I tagged along with him. So you didn't see who did it? Nope. As soon as we got here, we went our separate ways. I came here to find the new catalogue of manly mustaches, and he went somewhere else. He's lying. Have him hang to death. Hang his mustache first so he can suffer. Bill Roll, I know for a fact that your mustache oil was used to burn this evidence. Eh? Let me smell that. Why, this is, this is my oil. Oh, that's impossible. I still have the bottle in my... Eh? Let it go. I swear I had it. This doesn't look good for you. Hang him. But wait, I had the bottle before Dreg's murder. Someone must have stolen it after that to make confusion. Eh, I'll look into it, but right now, you are my prime suspect. Yeah, yeah. Okay, missing books. I don't know anything about it. What can you tell me about this rusty rod? Oh, hey, Greg was carrying that when he came in with me. What? I don't know what it is. Greg brought it with him. I am sure of it. Why would Greg bring this in here? It's too big to be a bookmark. If I know me, I probably brought it here for research on it. That still doesn't explain why I was killed. Hey, blood spatter. That is news to me. I don't remember saying anything like that. What can you tell me about Dreg's body? Well, other than his blood got the carpet he was standing on dirty with his blood. Nothing special. But I am surprised that he didn't fight back. Dreg and I usually get the five to get into fights, but he is not that weak to be overpowered like that. Maybe he was caught off guard. That's probably it, because Greg's first instinct when it comes to a fight is to run away. Of course, running away is the best option in these scenarios. It's the best option to come out unharmed. Alright. And... I'll cut it here. Wow, both of them are level 1. Sheesh. 